Hi everyone, Matt Hetherington here from MHTableTennis.com back with another table tennis coaching tutorial in this series of 30 videos that I'm doing. And in today's tutorial, I wanted to focus on the middle ball or the ball that travels to the elbow or the body. And it's really important to practice being able to get the correct footwork, um, to be able to move quickly and identify when the ball is coming to your body so that you're able to play with quality when a player is trying to essentially get you stuck in the elbow. And look, players are going to aim for this spot. It's generally a very weak area, particularly for tall players who are usually stronger on the wings and have a wider stance on the table. Playing into the body or into this elbow area is usually quite effective. So I'm going to go through a couple of tips for playing out of the elbow and then I have a few different drills that I did and I was trying to think of some, uh, some good drills that you could practice to help you get used to uh, making some adaptations and being prepared for that middle ball. The first thing that you really need to do that's really, really important when it comes to building muscle memory and trained responses is identify your transition point okay so this is where on the table you feel is the spot where you would change from forehand to backhand and where you would stop playing forehand and start playing backhand because this is going to help you figure out a lot of this middle ground now it's very common for players uh, at least at the lower levels to play using this line okay you can say this is my backhand half this is my forehand half this line on the table is for doubles. This line does not matter for singles. Uh, usually if you're really trying to get to a higher level of table tennis and this line was your transition point, it would be more halfway into the side. You really look at covering this part of your backhand, but even from here and across, you want to play at least two thirds of the table with the forehand. Now, of course, this is tailored more so towards male players, female players, and the women's game tend to play backhand uh, almost sometimes across this two thirds of the table. There are a lot of players who are quite strong in the backhand over the middle of the table. And it's also very important for wheelchair players. Okay, wheelchair players and the body shot obviously is a really big challenge. So when I've coached wheelchair players, we've really worked at defining where the crossover point is. Where are you going to stop playing backhand? Where are you going to start playing forehand? And defining that area really helps you create an automatic response. So if you always practice, this is going to be my forehand, then when you're playing in a match and the ball comes here, you're more conditioned to getting ready to play forehand. Okay, so that's the first important part. Define your crossover point, define what part of the middle of the table, where are you going to start playing forehands, where are you going to start playing backhands. And it's also going to help you lose this jumbled panic in the middle where somebody hits the ball at you and you go like this. Okay, you know if the ball's coming here, forehand, okay, or backhand. So define that area across the middle, across the elbow. Um, for me, I always try and choose to play forehand. I don't like getting dragged away from my backhand side as much, so I always try and play forehand in this part of the table. I'm starting off by doing a drill which is really good for this uh, middle ball exercise and that is playing one ball in the middle, one ball to either wing. So you're transitioning from a middle forehand ball and then moving. That means you transition from both sides to a forehand in the middle.
to focus on using the forehand for this elbow ball. So the second tip is coming out of your recovery position when the ball is coming to your body. The first thing you have to do is move your feet so that your playing knee is on this side of the ball. Okay, so if the ball's coming here, I need to get this knee on to this side. If I really want to play the most effective stroke, I need my body weight to be down and on this side of the ball. Okay, so that's very important. And it's really important that you practice this footwork and the speed so that you're not leaning or your body weight's not on the wrong foot um, and that you have space. So really, this is the luxury. If you create space, the elbow ball is not so much a problem. It's when you start getting squished, that's a problem. I have a, I guess I would call it a hack for more for adult players um, or recreational players. Obviously, the right thing to do is to move into position. Some players are not going to be able to do that. Okay, and if the ball comes here, you can do what is called a postural adjustment. And basically, if somebody hits a ball topspin at my body, and I don't have time to move my feet so that my knee's on this side of the ball, what I can do is I can put my body weight back onto the opposite hip, create some space in here by coming back to the side, and then using a lot of hand speed to generate as much spin as possible. So essentially, you're making sure that you're balanced and you have that foundation to recover from, but you don't have the position to play with power or with your legs. So you're making space for this ball and then playing really using your hand to compensate for the lack of lower body. And you can create the space here, push back from this leg and then recover. couple of other drills after that which I did with multi-ball um, like forehand flicking the ball and then getting the ball from the middle pushing the ball short and opening from the middle um, those kind of things Thank you guys for joining me for another one of my coaching tutorials. Uh, those are just some brief examples. Obviously a huge number of drills that you can do to practice this middle ball. If you need any help picking drills or you need some suggestions, reach out to me. And I think really the most important thing when you're picking these drills, whether it's robot multi-ball 
or a practice partner is just make sure that you're pressuring that point. If you really want to improve, you've got to put some pressure here. Make sure the ball is deep and it's got some speed to it or some movement into the body. Um, you want to put yourself in a position that's not comfortable. And if there's a position that you're not comfortable in that you can work on, that is good for you in the long run. So if you're playing these drills and it feels too easy and you don't feel like you're getting pushed off balance or really having to move too much, then start altering to add a little bit more pressure to that middle ball. Okay, so as usual, if you need any questions answered, mhtablecast.gmail.com or comment section, um, I answer everybody. So please, um, if there's something that's in your head that you need to ask, put it in the comment section. Uh, thank you guys, and I'll be back again tomorrow with my next coaching tutorial.